My name is Lenny Kreiselberg. I'm 34 years old and I'm originally from Odessa, Ukraine. I swam at two Olympic Games in 2000 and 2004 in Sydney, Australia and Athens, Greece. Uh, in 2000 in Sydney, Australia, I swam in 100 backstroke, 200 backstroke and 400 medley relay where I won three gold medals. And in Athens, Greece, I swam in 100 meters backstroke and 400 medley relay where I won a gold and a medley relay and was fourth in an individual event. Uh, it was definitely pretty tough, especially that I missed the silver medal by two one hundredths of a second and a bronze by one one hundredths of a second. But, uh, you know, I always look at it that I gave the best shot on that particular day and that's all you can ask of yourself. Uh, to tell you a little bit about my personal life, I'm married. I have two uh, twin daughters that are four, four years old and you know, outside of uh, me focusing on uh, building a, a, my business, I'm pretty much consumed with my family and with my girls. I'm very involved in their lives and trying to get them, get them into various activities. Obviously, swimming uh, is one of the activities we're trying to be pretty consistent with, but also getting them, uh, you know, playing tennis and doing gymnastics, and uh, it's it, it's pretty awesome. I'm definitely. Uh, don't, I definitely take a lot of pride in spending time with the kids and watching them grow and also you know giving them all the support and love that me and my wife can give them so they you know they can really enjoy being part of a loving family. One of the biggest challenges that faces athletes is that they're so consumed uh, being the best athlete they can be when they're training uh, to achieve their goals, they, they forget that there is life after sports. And unfortunately, when they do retire, they almost have to start their whole life all over again. I've always had an entrepreneurial mind and I was always thinking uh, life uh, after sports and I started to lay out the foundation and the groundwork while I was still competing, uh, looking at different business opportunities and seeing what I want to do after I retire from swimming. Well, since I retired in 2005, I started the Lenny Kreiselberg Swim Academy. So it's now been over four years, and we have seen a lot of success. And obviously, I've been really consumed with uh, building uh, the swim academies as well as build, building the whole Lenny Kreiselberg brand. The reason why I wanted to get into swim academies, it, it kind of uh, satisfies a couple of different uh, goals for me. First of all, still staying close to the sport that has given me so much uh, of in my life, but also promoting uh, water safety, which is, a, is extremely important uh, to be water safe and giving an opportunity to thousands of kids to become water safe and then enjoy all the benefits that come with knowing how to swim. There are two folds that I want to accomplish by sharing my story. First of all, um, I want to provide an opportunity for other athletes to use me as an example to see how important it is to plan ahead while you're still a, an active athlete and uh, trying to figure out what what your passions are and what you want to do and have a plan. But also, I again, I want to give back uh, and provide an opportunity for many kids t to learn how to swim, to be water, sw water safe, and enjoy all the great benefits that come with uh, knowing how to swim. Absolutely, I can tell you that you can ch uh, teach your child to swim before uh, he or she walks. In fact, uh, it's a pro uh, you know we've proven uh, through I guess trial and error and just experience over the pr past four and a half years that a child that. Uh, is still in their infant age can actually have more control of their body when they're in the wa in the water than they do on land. When I was a kid uh, learning how to swim, I actually honestly don't remember that, but uh, I do remember starting at about age of five and uh, going to the pool and you know being pretty freaked out about it. <laughs> next thing I know, uh, or well, next thing I remember is actually being in this big 50 meter pool, uh, outdoor pool, uh, which was very intimidating. And I remember just uh, holding on to the wall and just moving, moving along by holding on to the wall. Um, but then, you know, just kind of once I broke through the fear factor of it, uh, I really enjoyed uh, being in the water and learning to swim. And, uh, you know, it got good after a while.
who has inspired me the most in terms of athletes that have made that transformation, you obviously have to look at Magic Johnson and what he has done um, post his uh, professional career and the empire he's been able to build um, with various businesses and uh, nonprofit organizations. And it's definitely uh, an amazing accomplishment for him. But uh, looking back at his history and something that we've talked about, he started to lay out the, the groundwork for his post basketball career when and he was probably a rookie or second year in the league by you know meeting with business people uh, making contacts that he understood would be extremely valuable once he retires and he certainly took advantage of that one of the advices that I can give to uh, current athletes uh, is that you really want to try to plan ahead of time and it's never too early to start uh, figuring out what your passions are and what you want to do post your athletic career and also understanding that all the valuable characteristics that are making you a successful athlete could definitely be applied to become a, a, a successful business person. So that, that's a really important advice that I can give that I used uh, myself uh, to be where I am today. Test, test. One, two, three, four, five.